Months after the blast that rocked Wheatley's core, the town is still grappling with the aftermath. Tonight, we have new video of the moment the explosion happened that brings to life the magnitude of the blast. Our Bob Bellachico talks to the shop owner who caught this shocking moment, sharing the video he hopes will help the town heal. I was actually in Leamington when I heard about it. John Urban owns Cellar Doors Wine at the corner of Erie Street and Talbot. When he saw his security video... I couldn't believe the, the force of the blast. It's incredible. Urban surrendered the video to authorities for their investigation, but watched it on his phone the next day. He had been hesitant to make the video public. Everybody had been through so much, I wasn't sure if they were ready to see it. I think it was a great time for it to come out. As the neighborhood remains eerily quiet almost five months after the fact, seeing this video sheds new perspective for those who experienced the blast nearby. Shock, disbelief. Um, I relived the whole thing all over again and actually understood why I felt the way I did for days afterwards. Geraldine Vary was in her garage 100 yards away from the explosion on August 26th of last year. And I think we bring that to the forefront again and it lets people know that, hey, we're still here. Investigation into the gas wells that caused the explosion continues. A week after the discovery of a second well, a third one has now been identified. The records that they had when the wells were dug in the late 1800s uh, indicated that they, the records were only good or the locations were only good within 200 yards. Uh, so actually physically finding the wells where they were expected to be was helpful. Chatham Kent CAO Don Shropshire says that well appears to be safe but has been added to ongoing monitoring. Meantime, he says the contractor has drafted a work plan to outline the remaining work yet to be done. Once it's approved by the municipality, Shropshire says that they will hold a virtual town hall to update the community. It's, uh, it'd be nice to see people get back to a normal life get back to their houses and do what they have to do, work on them, fix them up. We're still hurting and we need help. We need lots of help. The government needs to step up and they need to step up fast. Bob Bellachico, CTV News.